Moving on to your lifestyle, you've lived in some fantastic places. Paris, London, now New York. Where do you call home and where's your favourite place? Uh, home for me is London. You Paris. heard it here first, London is his home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paris, New York, no, no, no. London. No, no, home. Because I keep hearing you talk. Hi, right, mate. Hi, right, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> I had a good teacher, Ray Paolo. Ray Paolo. Oh, Ray Paolo was... Uh, uh, it, it was funny. It's, I couldn't understand what he was saying at first. <laughs> I always remember the first time I sat to have, uh, to have lunch. Um, he came up to me and he was like, uh, can you pass me the ball? <laughs> and I was like, what? He was like, the ball of water, water. And I was like, what? And Patrick Vieira was like, he wants the, the bottle. And I looked at him and said, whoa. You know, and then I soon find out how he was. And I always like to to joke, you know, with a, can I have a cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's funny, but home is London for me. I mm. love New York. I'm proud to be French. If, if you say anything about France, I'll go like, what, what are you saying? You know, mm. whatever. But home for me is London. I what about like London. the fashion and stuff? Where, 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 where do you get your inspiration fashion-wise? Paris, London, New York? It's a bit of a mix. That, mm. that, in that sense, I was fortunate enough because London, I mean, the style in London, you can't beat that. But when, when, once you go to New York also, uh, the two towns are very similar mm. uh, in terms of uh, fashion. But I'm not a fashion victim. Mm -hmm. uh, I like fashion. Mm. So what about music? I know you're into your music. Yeah, what, what are you into type of everything. Moment? As long as you can dance on it, uh, I, I like it. Uh, obviously, I grew up listening to, uh, to Zouk, which is a music from uh, Guadeloupe and Martinique, where my, my parents are from. And, uh, and hip-hop, R&B, uh, name it, uh, jazz. Mm. Uh, a good, uh, some rock, some pop music, but I'm very re uh, retro. So it always, it always will be hip hop from the '90s. Mm -hmm. You like know, late, early 2000. Like who? Oh, Wu Tang Clan, Public Enemy in the '80s, uh, Nas. Uh, you know, I'm not going mm. to name Big Daddy Kane. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's can, going we, deep. He's going we can, deep. We can, I mean, I, I can name a lot of uh, a lot mm. of people, obviously, but uh, I'm, a, I'm a. Uh, retro guy. I, I kind of struggle with the new type of music right mm. now. Well, we know you've got to go off and do some, some more TV work, so thank you very much for being a player of five, Mag. Thank you. Thank right. you, I appreciate Good luck it. To you. Mr. George! Hardest player to play against, man. Oh, come on, man. Hello there, this is Thierry. You're on 5 .co. The best striker in the world, striker, striker, in it, uh, it has to be Luis Suarez. We're right. talking about Yeah. He has everything. Mm. He's in your face. He's arrogant in, in a good way. He can score goals, he can volley it, he can score headers, he can score free kick.